Hello, welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering, playing some more Popper, playing Infect. I put up a poll to see what uh, you guys wanted me to play, and it uh, was resounding. Uh, Infect won by a long shot. So we're going to be playing some more Popper Infect, if you're not familiar with this deck. Uh, this is the same list I've always played, um, but we're going to go over it again. So Infect, the idea is with Infect damage, you only have to deal 10 damage instead of 20. So you get an infect creature and then you attack for basically lethal in one turn. We have 10 basic forests, 4 hickory woodlots, which enters tapped, but uh, taps for 2 mana and has 2 depletion counters on it. When you tap it, you remove a depletion counter and you add 2 green mana. So be some quick mana in a, in a way. Uh, Garden is good for sacrifice effects. It gives a 0-1 creature. So one thing is like you go all in on your creature or you only have like one infect uh, creature and then they play an edict effect, make you sacrifice it and then you're kind of screwed. So garden helps with that. And then tranquil thicket is a cycle land. So going on there, mutagenic growth, uh, Rexian mana or just regular green plus two plus two, uh, ground swell. It's plus two plus two creature gets plus two plus two to end a turn unless a land enter the battlefield this turn and it gets a four four uh massive might their creature gets plus two plus two gains trample rancor gets plus two plus zero and has trample we all know rancor thanks skin veil is a protection spell gets a plus one plus one counter on target creature and it gains hexproof to end a turn vines of asswood is both a pump spell and a protection spell and apostle's blessing is a protection spell so then we have our infect creatures which is glistener elf white mamba icker claw mirror and then we also have four of land of war auger which if you sacrifice it on your upkeep dark creature gets plus three plus three and gains trample 10 in turn so a creature with a pump spell built in for our sideboard, we have more protection spells for uh, removal, Spider Umbra, Enchant Creature, Enchant Creatures, plus one, plus one has reach. Uh, epic Confrontation. Uh, with Infect, they deal damage in Infect, so a creature gets hit by an Infect, it gets negative one, negative one, so we can use this to, uh, um, <clears throat> as like a removal spell. For a deck that would have like a lot of blockers or something. Return of Nature destroys enchantments and artifacts and graveyard hate. Weather the Storm. Burn hate. Pulse of Marassa brings in against the heavy removal decks. And another Kalani Garden which helps with Edict effects. So that is Popper Infect. Or... Alright. So I had to... Uh... I had to rebuy the deck. Not rebuy. I always like did the card hoarder like loan program with it. So I had to buy the deck, which is why I've not played it in a while. I would like to go first. Um no creatures, some mulligan. We have a creature. We only have one land though. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it. I'm going to bottom probably Glistener Elf here. Really hope I get a uh, my reason for bottoming Glistener Elf is because we have protection spells. I'm just really hoping for a land more than anything. Pretty much. There is an argument for leading on Glistener Elf. Um, but without having a protection spell. I guess maybe... What is this? Okay. Uh, I guess maybe the argument is, is to get rid of Planar War Augur. Keep the two Glistener Elves. Yeah. Oh, what are we going to do?
So, that's probably a bad, uh, bad gameplay in there. Probably, it probably would have been better to Glistener Elf, keep the second Glistener Elf, Glistener Elf turn one, just play another Glistener Elf. But, you know what I mean? You live and you learn. Okay, so that's this deck. Playing against the heroic deck. I do believe Trample still carries over, though. Pretty sure. Land. They're not going to quite get there, but almost. I should have snakeskin veiled because massive might has tr gives the creature trample. Well, it's been a while since I played this deck, okay? <laughs> Are you really watching me play for, for good play lines? No, you're not. I don't know why you're watching. I've never seen this remote farm in uh, the Mono White Heroic deck before. Yeah, that was a that was a bad play. If I Snakeskin Veil, not only would it have a counter on it, uh, this next turn I could also add Trample and another counter, so we could have won next turn. Uh, unfortunately, fortunately, did not play that very well at all. Um, I'm probably going to get punished for it. Just doing this is um, bait. Like, I mean, I'm putting the snakeskin veil on it. Oh, that's going to be game then. All right, that was nothing but horrible playing, so. <sighs> Turn to nature. That's, uh, that was a lot of really bad playing. Um, a lot of bad choices on my end, but it's been a while since I played the deck, so. Gate, next Invel is not as important here. Vines can pump, but I'm actually going to take vines down and bring in fossils. Um, yeah, not the not the wisest uh, play paths I've ever made before. <laughs> uh, quite possibly we we could we would have not even could have we would have won that game. I think. Yeah, we would have. I think we would have won if it wasn't for a lot of the dumb decisions made. Again.
I don't know how I feel about this one. I'm going to keep it on the bottom one of the... No. No, stop. Why did I get rearranged in my hand? Light mom. So yeah, game one is is a hundred percent loss because of my own stupidity. So can't be mad at that. Why well, can't? And it wasn't my. I was gonna play the Glistener Elf, but I think I'll take Icker Cole. Woodpecker. Fine. Wish you had trample built in. Imagine they had another creature to play. Kind of an big trampoline guy. We have no land. I don't think we're going to win this first game. That's all right. First match, I don't think, is in our favor. If we draw one land, we have the win next turn. Like, it's just Apostle's Blessing White. We gotta draw land because we could get destroyed here. We could just start dumping. I doubt they can do 19 this turn, but it's gonna be one of those situations like we're gonna need a land like this next draw or bust kind of thing. Preferably a non tap land, too. One of our basic force. We have 10 of them, 52 cards. Mutagenic growth might get us there, too. Yeah, I think mutagenic, maybe. Got a feeling it's probably going to be more or less Apostle's Blessing or nothing. Sentinel Eyes, sure. Thought I yielded through this turn. That's not the scariest. Card they could have played. I wonder if our opponents knew because of their uh, play play speed. It does not bother me. Makes me wonder, you know. 
Artouche is also not the scariest. A four eight's a big butt to get around, that's for sure. So that's yeah, I'm pretty it's pretty much it's pretty much Apostle's blessing or bust here. Need a forest. Untap forest. Come on, give it to me. I guess the question becomes, do we live through one more turn? One, two, three. Crap. Seven points of damage right now. Let's say nine because of Apostle's Blessing. Basically, it's like, do you have Ethereal Armor or Ethereal Armor-esque effect? Or can we skate by another turn? Two cards in hand. I would assume if you had Ethereal Armor, you would have played it last turn. It's in with everybody. No blocks. And no boost. So I think we win. We just untap Fossil's Blessing White. for a bunch of damage. I guess, yeah, Apostle's Blessing, I said at the beginning, is a uh, is a uh, protection spell, but it's also a spell to get through people, to get through creatures. So that's a thing, too. Play this just in case. Well, unless they have like a fog effect, we got there. <laughs> fog. You don't even have a green mana. We get there. They could have something. Oh, protection from white. So yeah, pretty sure we got it. Unless there's an effect of a card that's like target player sacrifices attacking creature or something. Which I wouldn't put it past, <laughs> wouldn't put it past the format or the game, but cannot block. Is that a fist? Yeah, brass knuckles, huh? That card even. Boom, got there. When you cast the spell, copy it. The copy is, becomes a token. Equip target creature has double strike as long as you have two or more equipment attached to it. Probably not that good. Oh. Excuse me. I think we just run it back. There's, 
There's an argument for epic confrontation. There's also a stretch. An argument to just get rid of epic confirmation for something else. I like never sideboard that card in. Maybe it's because I'm dumb and I don't know when to slide it in. That's a big possibility, but I don't know when to, when to bring it in. Well, keeping the one lander that uh, the land eventually dies <laughs> ended up paying off. Ooh, wait, I can't pop y'all in. Uh, it's not amazing. Not like in love with this hand, but I'm going to keep it. Well, we technically have lethal in hand, but don't play the cat. Don't play a one drop. Pass. Pass turn. Good one. Okay. My plan is to mutagenic growth to pump fake their death bleed elite. That's what my plan is right now. Infect's normally a fast deck. This is taking longer than anticipated. They don't attack with the Death Blade Elite. Boat. Give Rancor and Ground Spell for now. And if they decide not to attack and hit provoke. Don't do it. I'll keep this mutagenic growth for next turn. You. Do that, but I can hit him for seven infect next turn. That guy. Flight Mom is interesting. If they block here or not, honestly. They don't block, I'm not going to groundswell. Could maybe plan this turn out a little bit better. Not blocking. Seven.
I guess it depends on what they play this turn. Might either just Blight Mamba or Return to Nature. Fossil's Blessing off the top would be really nice. Hey, yeah, Umbra. Sure. Second one. Okay. They still have to hold it back to block. Well, that was good timing off the top. Got there. Got there against Mono White Heroic. That's uh, game one didn't. I mean, each one of those games were, were pretty shaky, but uh, we got there. Surprisingly. I thought for sure we were going to lose. I was playing bad and... Um, hmm. I'm going to keep this. A lot of infectors, though. Um, rut row. <laughs> Draw here. Skin veil. Like, do we want Glistener Elf... Or do we want Icker Claw on turn two? That's that's where the question lies. I think we want Icker Claw. My thought is they could ramp into something here. They basically have three mana this turn. They ramp into stuff. Acre Claw can attack better. My thought process. And we just draw the force that it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Okay. You never know though. Get in there with a zero one plant. Some kind of like mono green ramp. Those are cool lands. Okay, so it's it's that gruel deck that I've seen floating around. I've actually really liked this deck from what I can tell, what I've seen. So I am really curious to see what it's like. Back for two. I'm going to take the two. He beat ground spell. Um... All right, so let's attack with Acre Claw Mirror first. Two, four, five. Play the Land of War Augur. Drop down Glister Elf as a secondary infector. They have enough for boarding party. They wanted a boarding party.
I guess they could ult a store. Yeah. All right, it's boarding party time. Ghoul thief. Seems good. Okay, how do we win? <laughs> I think we only win by Apostle's Blessing. Oh my god, seriously? Oh, that's awesome. Just, uh, white. Don't have fog. What I hit? Oh, I clicked. I clicked the wrong color. I just played mono white. Oh, that is soups disappointing. I do get to eat their stuff though and still hit them for more effect. Oh, way to just ruin the wind shot. Wow, what an idiot. I had the wind and I hit mono I hit white. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. So stupid. Oh. Wow. That was an epic punt. Hey, now. Going over a lane. Rude. <laughs> Come on, pump spell. I'll do it. Hopefully. Oh. I'll pay the mana for it. Ooh, still got there, but oh my goodness, what a punt. That was an epic punt. Um, don't care about Return to Nature. This is one where epic confrontation actually seems good. Um, to deal with their mana ramp dorks. Uh... Snakeskin Veil, you know, seems okay, but we also have, like, Vines of Asswood and everything. I think I'm going to bring in the Epic Confrontation. I think I'm going to trim out a couple Lanawar Augers and this is more... One where it's hard to like figure out where to trim. Yeah, we'll just bring in two epic confrontations, go down two Lana War Augers, run it like that, I suppose. Oh, I still can't believe I picked white though. I'm, I'm glad we still ended up getting there, that it wasn't ultimately 
soups punished uh, for the bad play. I'm going to keep this hand. Um, not super exciting, but at least have infect creatures and lands. Uh, one of those things where it's like throw out Glistener Elf. Start going for it. I don't know. <laughs> Playing with all kinds of different lands. We're told. I'm assuming pack mate, but I also shouldn't assume, you know what I mean? I don't really want to play Rancor on the Glistener Elf, uh, but I think I'm going to. We get Rancor back in hand. It's it's better on Icker Claw because where Icker Claw, if it gets blocked, gets pumped, so it gets additional pumping. But I think we need to be a little bit more aggro here, and uh, it makes Glistener Elf. A there's vision I'd actually love a land here <laughs> um Would be lethal. But I honestly don't know if they'll block with visionary. They are. Um Kept him off the ramp a little bit. Pack mate. Okay, so they did foretell the pack mate. They're looking for a red sword. Foretell, I'm assuming another pack mate. Tap land. Take it. Finds number two. All right, got there. I didn't mean to create my own. I meant to join theirs, but same person. All right, they wanted a rematch. <laughs> Blight Mamba. Keep. Hopefully we draw, I would really like an untapped land, because next turn we could go Blight Mamba, this land, and then I would just like to have a land for Groundswell, guarantee. not playing a land here. I'm going to hold this Hickory Woodlot next turn for Groundswell and Groundswell and Rancor next turn. I'm assuming they're playing the same deck.
Another vines. Two for seven on turn three, potentially. I do really love this deck a lot. Like, this is one of my favorite popper decks. Glad I finally did it so I can play it whenever. I do have this deck in paper. Paper popper. Um. Dead next turn. You got a lightning bolt. All right, dead. That was uh, that was running on a lot of cylinders. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last time. Just bring in two epic confrontations, go down two land for augers. Run it like that. Uh, unfortunately, Mulligan. All right, I have critters. Keep. I put two on the bottom. White Mamba. Hmm. Kind of massive. Dude, can someone tell me if there's a glitch in Moto where when you bottom your card, you draw it? Because I swear, every game that I mulligan, almost every game at least, when I bottom a card, I draw it the next turn. Almost every single time. Encore is in. I swear, it's like every single time. So turn three play? Awesome. Another Icker Claw makes me feel good. Here comes the Lightning Bolt. Aha! <laughs> Fuck your fiery cannonade. Hopefully he does not have a second one because I don't have mana for another massive might. <laughs> I do like this deck a lot. I'm assuming this is like that gruel mid-range. Well, it's Tamir because we saw the blue. They've not done a very good job about getting blue mana. I'm assuming it's the Tamir list. Oh, no more fiery cannonade, please. Sure. What you want your turn to be. You're dead. Well, that's uh, that was a thrick, uh, a thrick. <laughs> that was a quick three zero with uh, infect. Uh, it's been like I said, quite a while since I played this game. I had a good few of you on uh on the YouTube side. Uh, one in particular request more infect, and then I did a poll, and a lot of you voted for more infect. And uh, I gotta say, 
I, uh, I I love this deck. This deck's sweet. Uh, it's super fun. I love just pumping and winning out of nowhere. Uh, it can create some good like nervous tension in games because you don't know if you're gonna like your creatures are gonna make it to the turn to where you can go for the win. You don't know if the wind's gonna clear and stuff. So there's a there's a good bit of fun to be had with that. Uh, as for the deck itself, like there's not very many new cards in this deck. This is a lot of old stuff. Uh, Weather the Storm and Snakeskin Veil and Massive Might being the newer-ish cards. Um, but yeah, it's 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 super fun. I uh, really love this deck. Just a blast to play. I love Hickory Woodlot as a card. I love the art. I love the border. I love the effect. I love everything about this land. love playing it. Um, yeah, just this deck's super fun. It's really cheap. To build on uh, MTGO, it's really cheap to build in person. I think the most expensive cards when I built it in person was maybe Mutagenic Growth or Vines. Was Vines? I don't think Vines was. Maybe it's just Mutagenic Growth. The deck was really cheap to build in paper too. So, a very cheap deck. It's very strong. I uh, really like it. Uh, the only thing I think maybe I'd tra change out is the Epic Confrontation, but I don't know what i would change it out with but yeah so that was uh the more popper infect thank you all for voting and uh i'll see y'all next time take it easy peace